Hi, everyone. Just type a Y in the text chat if you can hear me. Yep, yeah, Linda. Okay, yeah, everyone can hear me. Awesome. Well, welcome to today's free webinar on JSON removal, everyone. So what I thought I would do is turn on my camera just so you guys can see me make it a bit more personal. So how's everyone feeling today? And yeah, one of the team members said, yay. Yeah, exciting. Yep, yeah, Linda, feeling good. Yep, yeah, excellent. <clears throat> okay, so now, without further ado, let, we'll get into today's webinar. So, the day seal, what are they, you may be wondering. And Irina said, okay, been a difficult couple days. Well, at least you're here for the clearing then. So that should help, that should get, put some help in. So what are they? Now, there are various, there are various things which can and generally does happen for most people. Well, let's have a look. Now, hold on. I don't think this is right. Let me just see if this is the right way around and all. Oh yeah, sorry, just thought there was something a bit different. But anyway, um, as I was saying, there are various things which can and generally does happen for most people. So let's have a look. Either getting stuck or manifesting financial losses. Having trouble clearing the mind for meditation and unlocking the third eye. Holding on to stuff which happened in the past and not letting them go. Having worries and predictions of what will happen in the in the future, taking on the consciousness of the mass mind and trying to fit in. Now, all of these might be a result of your seven J seals being triggered, and it's highly likely that none of that will ever improve until you completely remove the J seals and other blockages or imprints lurking around. <clears throat> And now type in the text chat, which of those apply to you, which one of those you feel apply to you in particular. Irina, almost all. Oh gosh, so quite a few then. <clears throat> Catherine, I just feel a bit stuck. Yeah, well, that's pretty common too. And Jace, you can guarantee Jace seals are certainly a part of, can be a part of that as well. <clears throat> Linda, projecting past to the future. Yeah, and I mean, I myself have had that in the past before, like being stuck in the non-existent future. Or being stuck in the past. I've done, I've been stuck with both before I fully dealt with that. So yeah. <clears throat> so yeah, quite a mix here. So what exactly are Jay's seals? So let's look at that. Now, there are seven existing ones currently at the moment. So what they actually are, are energetic implants which are placed in you by dark masters at birth. Now, unfortunately, everything which has been born on earth has got J seals. And they've been around for quite a long time, approximately 200,000 years or so. And they attach to our energy field from the earth's grids. And they were created by an intruding fallen race descended from the Napoleon giants to control us. So a fallen race who were descended from the Nephilim giants who were bloodthirsty and ate people and were all about war and dominating, <clears throat> they, 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 those races created these J seals. And they, and they were created to limit our growth and evolution as a collective. 
So that this is the whole idea, keeping us stuck in this 3D or this world, rather than um, keeping us locked away from the cosmos and from ascending. Because we're born to move, we're born to grow and evolve, not remain stagnant and be the same person the, the whole life. And they are all on the left side of your body, beginning at your head, going down to your anus. So the most interesting fact is how they're all on the left side, because the left side is the feminine receiving side. And the feminine side, the feminine receiving side is what helps you to connect to the cosmos and connect to this higher galaxies. So where are they located? Now let's have a look at that. The first one is at the top of the skull of the left side. The second seal is at the heart, the left lung and the back of left knee. The third seal is at the pineal gland or third eye. The fourth one is at the left side of the neck and lymphatics. <clears throat> the fifth one is the rear left thigh and buttock. The sixth one is the altar major, hypothalamus, and also the top of left shoulder. And the seventh seal is at the aorta artery on the left side of the neck. And now let's look at some other seals we have in our energy field. There's the crown of thorns, the metatronic implant, the zeta seal, the templar seal, the templar axiom seal, the cell death programs, the Tower of Babel incident or the Tower of Babel seal, the Egyptian seals, the Mayan seals, and the seal of Palador, and the seal of Amente. And we also have many other unnatural implants as well. So as you can see, there's quite a lot that comes with this. So the way that they affect you is that you won't be able to ascend and your path to ascension remains blocked. Awareness around your path will be switched off and your third eye will remain blocked. And your innate ability to attract and create wealth will be difficult to activate. It will be much harder to feel content and align with your path, purpose and mission for this planet. It will be more difficult to attract quality relationships and you'll be stuck with toxic ones instead. Eventually manifesting bad health, physical illnesses, or diseases. They are also capable of manifesting biological death. So ultimately they keep you stuck in the death and reincarnation cycle. That, that's their goal, is to keep you from evolving and from ascending. Now how can you change all of that? Well, you can change your life by clearing yourself of imprint and reprogramming your whole being to align with your higher self and energy from God. Because by removing your J-seals, your path to ascension, discovering your purpose and creating wealth becomes much easier. So now what we'll do is take a look at the scientific basis behind the installation of J-seals and the other implants and programming. Now, scientists have agreed that there is a quantum or esoteric realm which governs all things. And they say that the universe is a hologram, i.e. consciousness precedes matter rather than the other way around. So let's look at some examples. Carl Primm, the Stanford University neurophysicist. David Bohm, the University of London physicist. Amit Goswani, an Oxford University physicist. And Dr. Joe Dispenza. And even Michael Corbett in his book, The Holographic Universe, had a very interesting view on this topic. In The Holographic Universe, he suggests that things like coffee cups, trees, table lamps might not exist or even exist in the way we believe them to be. In other words, it's all an illusion and the mystics and the crazies are actually right. And the, let's, so now let's look at the conclusion scientists have come to. Classic physics is questionable and quantum physics makes perfect sense. All things are interconnected, nothing is truly separate. Irina, crazy, huh? Yeah, I mean, just think of how many people would call us fruitcakes or like conspiracy theorists and shit like this for, for believing in this stuff. Yeah, so I mean, the people who are labeled crazy by society, they're the ones who turn out to be right. <laughs> Irene and my whole family. 
yeah, join the club, I mean, not <laughs> besides my parents and my siblings. Yeah, I mean, the rest of my family does not believe in this, so I get you there. <laughs> so who else can relate to that, being called a fruitcake, a witch, or some kind of label for believing in this? Just type a Y if so. Yeah, Aiden, yes. Yeah, so join the club, Aiden. <laughs> Aiden, a Looney Tune, even. Oh, gosh, okay. I've never, oh, that's a new one. I haven't heard that. <laughs> Yep, so, so yeah, we have another one in the club. <laughs> and time and space doesn't exist, it's not linear. And holographic theory is real, i.e. things don't truly exist until they're observed, as, as stated by Michael Talbot in his Holographic Universe book. Now let's look into how they're created. Unless you're actively clearing imp imprints like Paseal, you can potentially create st consistent struggle in areas of your life, whether it's financially, spiritually, mentally, emotionally, or others. So in other words, unless they're actively being cleared, you'll create co consistent struggle and challenge and hardship. And because these programming devices have a powerful impact, they can affect your thoughts and conscious manifestation process on all levels. This is why implants are increasing. And it even states in Romans 7 and Galatians 2 that you carry sin or corruption in your DNA until you've been redeemed from your karma. That is, your JCL blockages and imprints will stay in your blood and DNA until they've been removed or cleared in some form. And they are also capable of leading you to create money imprints. So you can so such things like parents' beliefs and spoken words over you, Going broke in your business, being cheated on by a business partner or getting bad advice, losing in an investment or having money stolen from you, a traumatic emotional experience or neuro association, spiritual dissociation or repressive disorders, bad examples around money like heroes and business leaders who make a lot of money but they complete dickheads of the highest order in real life making a bad mistake and creating a story around it or blaming yourself or others the trading market the mass mind belief systems being in a corrupt fire and greedy system like a dirty house it's like a dirty house if you're not clearing these all the time then i mean uh, it when you clean the house regularly it stays clean spotless and a great place to live in as soon as you stop cleaning it the dust and the junk slowly piles up until one day it, get, it goes back to the same state it was previously or worse. So that's what it's like spiritually as well. You need the spiritual cleaning as well um, all the time. We now dive into how to clear your J seals because there is a spiritual and scientific basis behind clearing the J seals. The J seals are implanted in dimensions beyond the fourth one. And dark masters have created a prism to spiritually trap people in the lower realms. That is to stop you accessing higher realms as created. As we mentioned earlier, their, their agenda is to keep you from ascending and from evolving. So to clear the J-seal, we connect to higher realm masters who give us the power to activate and clear them under their authority and name. And we need masters in the ninth and higher dimensions to assist with this since these are higher level implants. Okay, so is, is there any questions before we get into the clearing for the J-seals? Irina, do we know what they look like? Well, if 
if your third eye is open, if you can like see or sense into like yourself or other people, yeah, you'll definitely know what you'll definitely know what they look like then. Because well, because I mean, I myself can see it on people, so yeah, I do see what they look like. So I mean, it depends on the person. Because some I've seen some that look bigger on others, but then others that look smaller. So yeah. But ultimately, they all look the same. Why are they called J seals? Uh, because, well, the J, it stands for Jehovian. Because the Jeho well, the race who actually placed these J seals on people were called the Jehovian and Yunnaki. So that was the fallen race that placed them into the earth. And just think of the word seal, like seal means to close up or shut up. So, I mean, that's what, that, and that's what they've been doing, shutting us from the higher dimensions. So yeah, hope, so yeah, hope that helps Irina. <clears throat> Shutting the energy down. Yes, well, that's correct. That's what they've been doing. Yeah, shitting the energy down. <laughs> yeah, that, that wouldn't be a good time, Irina. <laughs> shitting it. Yeah, that would not be a good time. But yes, that's their ma that's been their main goal, as we mentioned, to get to lock us out of those higher dimensions and from ascending. Okay, so does anyone else have any questions before we get into the clearing? Because what we'll be doing is, um, we'll, I'll be clearing the first two J seals. So that's what we'll be doing in, today. We'll clear the first two. <clears throat> Lily, do we focus on the left side of our body when you do the clearing? Uh, you can you can do that if you feel led to or if you feel to, but otherwise, no, it's not necessary. You can you just feel the energy of it all like you normally would. Yeah. Irina, what are the first two? What are the first two connected with? Yeah. So what? All right. So what we'll do is even go back to where they're located, because then, yeah, that will give you that will give you an idea of what of what what they do and all. So the first seal, as you can see, is at the top of the skull of the left side. So it's on the left side, like the others. But if, it, if it's at the top of the skull, so just think of the skull, what the head does. So the head is all about like your mind, your thoughts. So this first seal, as an example, would be around your mind and your thoughts. The second seal is the heart, the left lung, the back of left knee. So if it's around these areas, then just think about what these do. The knee is the, the knees help you to walk forwards or backwards and to bend to make a bend. And then the heart is all about love and trust. So it can really mess with these things. So yeah, that's the main thing. When you look at where they're located, it will give you a good idea. Because all you need to do then is think about what the body part does. And so yeah, that, uh, oh, so that answered your question too, Linda. Yeah, if the first one is at the top of the skull and the second one is at the heart, the left lung, the back of left knee. Yeah.
Oh, yeah, so yeah, I'm glad that helped. Okay, so now what we'll do is get into the clearing. And we'll, so everyone focus on this code and just inhale it into your mind and into your heart and the back and the back of your left knee and your left lung. So the places where the first two J seals are. And uh, even with just your intention, you can do that. So just Im imagine the code there and close your eyes. Just start taking deep breaths, relaxing your mind and getting into a deeper brain state. And I'll just turn my camera off for now while we do the clearing. We now call upon the divine protection and the bright white pyramid surrounding me and each person here. And we call upon the five archangels, Uriel, Gabriel, Raphael, Michael, and Metatron, and Christ and Mother Gaia, only those who are aligned with the word of God and the Christ consciousness. And we clear and repel any false spirit guides, negative energies, outside interferences, or anything else related now. It is commanded by the laws of the golden liquid realms and our chemical powers that this J seals clearing code be used to clear J seals one and two from each person here permanently on all levels of their awareness and in line with their higher self now to Asia in today. Mental level violet infused alpha. And we also clear the manipulation and the harm and the control being done on the mind, the 
the left side of it and also the heart on the left lung, back of left knee. So we clear the issues around there too. And clear any dark energies or entities swirling around there and evaporate it with the golden liquid light. And we about we now bring back each person's energy, vitality, and life force. We now pour in the golden liquid light and send in the love from the Father and the higher councils. <clears throat> And bring each person back to balance, to peace, serenity, calmness, centeredness, happiness, joy, and strengthen them too, to their power. Okay, so how's everyone feeling after that clearing? Linda, relaxed. Irina, calm, peaceful. Catherine, I'm feeling good. Thank you. Yep, no worries, Catherine. It's great. Yeah, it's great. That was a calming in the end, but I'll tell you what, it was pretty crazy at first. <laughs> Lily, feeling serene. Fantastic. Okay, so now everyone just take a sip of water just to integrate that. Okay, so any final questions before we end for today? Irina, will you clear, <coughs> will you clear more J seals? Well, sometime in sometime in the future, I will be doing a, a full a course on this, 
where it will not only clear the J seals, but also the other seals that we went through. So yeah, I'll definitely be sure to let you and everyone know when that will be the case. So yeah. All right, so no other questions. All right, well, thanks everyone. This was another great webinar, another great session. And yeah, and I thought so. I thought I would give you guys a taste, a good taste of the JSOS clearing and really show you what it's what it's like and all. So thanks everyone, and I'll see you all later on or in the next webinar. Bye for now.